Hello, my name is Noel Gustav and uh, this is my first tutorial um, on YouTube and uh, my first tutorial about also Revit architecture and uh, I decided to make this uh, because I had uh, some few questions and a lot from uh, my friend from China Wu who asked me uh, how did I make this? Um, the Razor post I did it on Facebook via a um, Revit architecture group and I posted um, uh, this picture of my um, art gallery which I've made it in Revit architecture with um sorry with a bamboo and he was asking me how did it, how was I able to make a bamboo frame like uh, this one on the wall and so that's what I'm going to show you in this video tutorial so welcome so the first thing is that um, I've opened a new project and I'm gonna go to a 3d view and from here I'm going to click uh, massing I'm going to choose a massing place okay and I'm just gonna make just a simple um, rectangular shape uh, sort of a building like this that is enough um, create it and so this is going to be our building for the experiment of the bamboo structures so actually the first thing is f you need first to create a, f a cotton family which we are going also to apply in this um, in this building for instance uh, I hope uh, you already know that when you select these faces you can divide it surfaces and so the basic idea is that uh, after dividing these surfaces we are going to apply the bamboo uh, bamboo curtain family in uh, within these uh, divided surfaces so that's the that's a typically the the method behind it so after this I'm gonna go to Revit new and create new family and I'm gonna select metric cotton metric cotton panel pattern based and uh, some of people they're using a uh, imperial unit is okay no problem so the idea is since I want to create something like this uh, just a uh, one plane running uh, uh, cylinder cylinders so I'm just I'm, I'm only going to create uh, cylinders which will only run through one plane I don't need to create on both planes so the first thing I do is I click a point and I go to the midpoint of this line pick one point there and then at this point also one point here and then I'll set the plane so that I, I'll be able to draw the this circle because in order to create a cylinder, a, a cylinder I'll need a circle and a line which act as a path to sweep through and I'm going to specify this um, <coughs> as 50 sorry because of the bamboo I was working with is 100 millimeter that in terms of its diameter and I'm going to draw a path which um, only go from this point to this point and I'm gonna do the same thing to this point also sorry okay let me click show and set and type 50 okay it works and I'll do the same thing here and after that I'm going to create the cylinder just click create form same thing here create form and just to make sure just to be sure that uh, this uh, this um, frame is parametric I'm gonna change the the span of the plane 
to at least uh, 1000 and my idea is just I just want to see if changing of the span will also change the yeah it works it also changes the the position as the the change of the span goes by so after this I'll apply uh, material I'll assign material here and let's call this uh, bamboo <coughs> sorry after that then <coughs> first you need to save it so that you can use it later on and I'm gonna save it on my desktop because I've already done this uh, bamboo frame okay and I'm gonna upload it directly to my project and <coughs> then I'll go to my 3d and remember we've already uh, divide these surfaces so now the task is just to apply it but there is one thing I have to alert you before you you proceed it's just a it would be a nice idea if before applying any surfaces if you have any opening first try to create opening with a void first and then divide the surface and apply your cotton uh, your cotton based uh, family uh, just for safety because um, sometimes these cotton families they they might not work um, a bit nicer as you expect when you uh, when you introduce a um, void after sometimes it will it will require you to restart over um, creating over the, the pattern and stuff like that so it's better to if maybe you have a window to create first a window and then to divide the the resulting surface but it's okay it can still work in other cases too so what I will do here is that I'll select the one surface and then I'll just go and choose my uh, bamboo frame and a rectangle <coughs> and as you can see it's already appearing here yeah it's quite uh, thick ok it's because it's only one meter here ok so this is how it is and you can also even apply at the this surface get the same result and so this is how it is but uh, you can also adjust if you don't want these um, a lot of these knots to appear you can just adjust the number of the horizontal grid for instance if you change this number here then they appear much more smaller and here also you can apply a minimum number of two that works best yeah sometimes yeah if you don't uh, you need you need sometimes in a case where you have a void you need to increase these numbers sometimes up to four so that they work a bit uh, much better otherwise you would have a, a bit of a problem in place like that but it's my hope that you got the concept uh, Let's, let me put this to 21st yeah so it's my hope that you you have understood the concept behind it so this is how you, you create a, a bamboo building sorry for this mistake here it has never happened before and um, I think maybe I, there is a problem with my void yeah but in most of cases it doesn't uh, it doesn't have any problem so after this let me show you i'm gonna cancel this let me show you my project uh, which i did
so this is my project which I made it in Revit with a <coughs> and as you can see I had quite a lot of um, bamboo frame which I did by just creating a conceptual mass and then dividing with the same family but for me I, I did not want any knots here so you can see there are no knots uh, in between one bamboo column to the other and um, <coughs> another thing just to give you as a precaution sometimes it's very heavy so a better thing to do is that after creating a surface then you can deactivate it if you don't want uh, to use it for instance I have deactivated the divided surfaces at this point here so you can't see any divided surface at one point you are at one side you can only see at, at one uh, at the other side so you can even deactivate everything so that you can just see the conceptual mass itself it also saves a bit of um, memory and RAM so you can just wait until maybe you create an elevation or if you want to go and render your building that's when you can activate everything so if you want to work at least with a bit of um, with, a, with a bit of um, free memory it's advised you, you shouldn't have a, a lot of these uh, displayed and it's very easy you can just go here to the component and you can deactivate the component and then you just remain with the surface and then you can continue continue working without uh, without any problem so <coughs> and this is how it looks like in a, in some views sorry this is how it look like in, in a view I don't remember which view I, did I post it there but uh, yeah this is pretty much the way it is so thank you guys for watching and I hope um, my friend Wu from China has uh, I have helped you uh, to understand a bit and again sorry for my English this is my very first video I hope it's quite well okay ciao